Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel with me Kate Amwa. This is just a quick update, so I am one week post big chop. This is how my hair's looking. I feel like it's grown a bit since last week. Obviously not a ton, I'm not crazy, but like I did have a nice party in today. It's got a bit mad. I had a nice little part in. And yeah, this is literally just how I've been rocking my hair. I've been having it out for all you guys. I did say I was gonna wear the wig. I wore it like twice and then I thought, you know what? Just go for it. Um, and I've been really surprised with all the comments and some compliments as well. Thank you to all of you guys for your support. I've seen all the comments on my Big Chop video. I haven't been able to respond to all of you, but thanks so much for your kind comments and a lot of you guys were mocking me because I said I was expecting curls like obviously not bountiful curls but I don't know I don't know I feel silly now <laughs> a lot of you guys picked up that I said that you know I didn't have any curls but my hair feels like it's got some definition now don't know if you guys can see very well I'll try and zoom in a bit um yeah so this is how it is I tried to lay my edges. That was this morning though, and it's now the night, so it didn't do too bad at this side. I kind of put a little part in here, as I said. Um, so I have noticed that I had a couple of like bald patches. One was here, I'm trying to show you. Like here. Um, it's kind of disguised now where I've got the part in. That can kind of go together. But yeah, I had one here. Um, let me talk about that. Um, I had a couple more, like you can see, it's a bit lighter here, just a few areas that I think were probably a bit damaged. Let me wait till I make this back again. Okay. Just a few areas that I think were damaged from the relaxer. I mean, I've been relaxed almost my whole life. I think I got my first relaxer at like I'm sure it was like five, six, seven around that time. So yeah, it's been years, so I'm expecting I was not too surprised that there were areas that seemed a bit damaged. So I'm just gonna keep oiling my scalp, deep conditioning, and well, the oil treatments for my scalp just to see if the hair starts to grow back in those areas. But overall, I really like it. Short, actually. I'm really happy that I didn't opt for transitioning, but I decided to just do the big chop straight away because I've experienced, I don't know, it's been, I know in the first video I said like I don't feel liberated, but I kind of do now, like I'm really glad I've been able to experience having really, really, really short hair and kind of putting myself out of my comfort zone because this is way out of my comfort zone, but I'm really enjoying it and the ease has just been so good. I did pick up the sheer moisture, I know, Shea Moisture was supposed to be cancelled, guys. But I heard a lot of good reviews about this for natural hair and a lot of people used it straight after they big chopped. So I thought I'd try it just because I needed a deep conditioner that was moisturising. My hair was so dry. Like, I would moisturise it and then halfway through the day, it was like, dry. So <laughs> I picked this up and the first time I used it, I've used it a couple times this week. I wash my hair like nearly every day. Um, the first time I used it, my hair felt a lot softer afterwards and I didn't have to moisturise it as much. I was literally moisturising it a couple times a day. And then I've co-washed with it about twice. This is the, oh sorry, this is the uh, Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter uh, Deep Treatment Mask. So I've actually been using this as a co-wash. I used it today. And it just leaves my hair feeling really nice and soft. I just think my hair needs so much moisture. Apart from that, I've been using the same moisturizer, which is the As I Am, uh, so much moisture, moisturizer, and my Mazzani um, oils, just to seal in the moisture. I've been using the same products, apart from this, that I use with my relaxed hair. I am looking for a new moisturizer, just because, I mean, the As I Am moisturizer still works well, but not as well as... Sorry guys, my um, card was full, I had to delete some things. But I can't actually remember what I was saying. I am looking for a new moisturizer, I think that's where I left off. 
for my hair if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comment section below i'd love to try them out but um <laughs> sorry guys patrick's just mocking me but um yeah <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I've been really loving it. I've been loving my big chop. I've been loving my natural hair. It's quite curly. It feels like the curl. I can definitely already tell that I'm not gonna have one kind of hair type. I'm not really into the hair type stuff, but the way my hair's starting to curl up a bit is different in different areas. Like I've got proper tight curls at the back and on the sides, but here is a lot uh, looser not wavy but it's just looser but i'll probably be able to tell better in about a month or so but as i said it seems like my hair's going to be growing kind of fast because it was definitely a lot shorter last week <laughs> i will be using the diy curly proverbs oil again and i need to make up a fresh batch i'll probably record myself making up a fresh batch just because I didn't show you guys how I made it before, so stay tuned for that video. I need to whip some up maybe this week and get this growth coming in. Although I am enjoying my hair at this stage. I know that once it gets to like the awkward stage where it's just like, what do I do with my hair? I'll probably um, revert to braids, I'm thinking. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions and like I said, any product recommendations, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to thumbs up for more videos and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And also make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay blessed.